friends welcome to my workplace for hands on FACO and SICS training. Let us observe this surgery. This is FACO emulsification of a cataract, soft cataract with pseudo exfoliation. This is a totally unedited recording and you are not missing anything. The main incision has been placed on the posterior aspect of the limbus. You can see little oozing of blood and this is good. Healing is better if you include some capillaries in your incision. And now, a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 o'clock hours away. This side port is about 1.6 to 1.8 millimeter. If the side port is little larger, but if it is placed 90 degree away from the main incision, the induced astigmatism will be neutralized to some extent by the side port. And now, capsulorexis is being done with the uterita forceps. Size of this rexis is about 5.25 millimeter. Hydrodissection is done. In this case, jonule is not much weak, little weak, but not so much as we expect in cases with pseudo exfoliation. And now, pre chopper. Pre chopper goes, sustainer supports the other side of the equator, and we divide the nucleus into some parts. In this case, the nucleus has been divided into three parts, three fragments. One heminucleus, another heminucleus has been divided into two fragments. And now, I am going to introduce the phaco needle in the anterior chamber. This is Oatly Cataryx 3 phaco machine. The phaco needle goes with its bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed, then one free nuclear fragment already pre-chopped is picked up and it is emulsified, then the other one. Ultrasonic energy is very minimal in this case, maybe about 50 percent ultrasonic energy, but it is being used, it's linear, it is in linear mode, so I am using less energy. Now, I come to the intact heminucleus and chop it into two pieces and this nuclear fragment has been emulsified and then the last piece. The chopper has been removed. It keeps more stable anterior chamber because there is no leakage from the side port. Now, do not try this if you are a new surgeon. Aspiration of some cortex with the phaco needle. If you are having lot of experience, then you can try this. And now, I inject visco and now my plan is to remove rest of the cortex with the help of a Simco cannula. Yes, Simco cannula is not a patented instrument of the SICS surgeons. We, the FACO surgeons, also can use this very safe instrument. Only one side port is required. You can see there is no side port on the right side. And the side port, though it is little larger, about 1.6 to 1.8 millimeter, it is placed 90 degree away from the main incision. And the astigmatism induced by the main incision will be, neut will be neutralized by this side port to some extent. Yes cortical cleanup is done. We can see the pseudo exfoliation material on the anterior surface of the anterior capsular rim remaining near the pupillary border. We do not have to do anything with this. I am using a B cartridge for implantation of the intraocular lens, so enlarging the main wound little more, maybe about 0.2 to 0.3 millimeter. So, the main wound is now 3.1 millimeter. Now, here goes the intraocular lens.
the lens has been placed in the capsula bag, we can see that the optic is being overlapped by the anterior capsular rim all around. So, this is a rexis of ideal size about 5.25 millimeter. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. At last the anterior chamber is nicely lavaged with BSS, balanced salt solution and irrigate the capsular bag for another time polish the posterior capsule to some extent, form the anterior chamber very nicely. The intraocular pressure should be on the higher side. Check the wounds with cotton tipped Janssen bard, no leakage from any wound, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Please learn many techniques. Please learn to use this pre chopper. It helps a lot in many situations. Thank you very much for your patient watching.